Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jackie and this is Casper. And today we are doing part two of my Halloween Come Decorate With Me. So if you wanna see how everything turns out, keep watching. So these symmetry goals, I purchased them from a lady on Instagram. It's actually a company and I have been wanting them for, I want to say like about three years, but they sold out, they sell out so fast and I was able to get my hands on a couple of them. I already had three, but it was from a different company and they kind of look the same, but yeah, I just freaking love them and I decided to display them in my living room this year and like i stated in part one if you haven't gone gone to see that one go check it out i am keeping any, everything minimized and with old and a little bit of new decor I'm not sure if I show this um, set of candles, melted candles. I wanna, I don't even know what it's called, but <laughs> the one in the background. Um, I did purchase a couple of new items as I stated in part one that I didn't get to show in my um, Halloween haul and that bull sign I also purchased it. And guys, this is only a couple of days away from Halloween as I'm doing this voiceover. And it's crazy. My store already has everything. Marshalls and Home Goods actually have everything 50% off. And I'm like, oh my god, it's it's crazy. It's freaking crazy already. Also, this is a new item I picked up as well. Well, new to me. Oh, new to yeah, old to me. Because <laughs> like I stated, there's a couple of things I did purchase that um, I did not show in my home. And I, I know I showed the other ones. But yeah, anyway, this little jack o' lantern is pretty old. I've had it from Michael's from quite a while now.
this little ghost is from Michael's, but if you have been following me for a while, you have none. I had him for a while. I also forgot to film me putting him the blankets on the ladder. But yeah, those um blankets I have actually the top one it's new, the bottom I have had, and this is how this side turned out, and I really like it because I incorporated a little bit of fall and some Halloween, and I think I want to do that next year again. Um, incorporate some falls because I used to decorate for fall and then like two weeks later take everything off and decorate for Halloween it, it was very overwhelming so now I just stick to decorating for Halloween but I kind of want to go back to incorporating fall because I really love the fall colors and how everything goes together and this is like right there's such a vibe like the fall with the Halloween and I just love how it looks So up here guys I painted the shelves white I did do a reels I haven't oh my god I haven't even posted it on Instagram I usually post it on Instagram and then um put it here and I forgot all about it now that I'm looking at, <laughs> um now that I'm editing this video um but yes this little um pumpkin holder thingy it's from my supermarket and I end up adding those little um full stems from Michael's and these are new as well there was a set of two but actually you had i bought them separate but anyway um back to the shelves i did do real i might post it before i post this video most likely i am who knows i don't know <laughs> but anyway i really love how the white stand it out better than the um regular wood color so yeah let me know down below in the comments do you like it better white than the other color but clearly guys white is better than anything else <laughs> So this is how it looks and that little picture of that white jack-o-lantern I got it at Etsy and I really love it I didn't know what size to get it um so I ended up getting like a I think that's a four by seven or five by seven I can't remember and this little print as well I have thrifted um the painting and just added the little ghost and I really love how it looks and now for this side I always have a hard time so I decided why not add frankenstein that i found this year um up here with um her the bride of frankenstein and i just kept it as is because to be honest guys i didn't know where to place them in my house because as you will see this is gonna be like a pretty long <laughs> part two video you will see i don't have much space in my living room and i don't want to like add so much stuff and make it look cluttered because i used to always add so much stuff and throughout the years i felt like everything just looked it cluttered so this little um oh my god what is it pine cone is it i decided to add tissue to it <laughs> i didn't know what to do with this so why not add tissue This is another new item. It's actually a candle. It's from Michaels. And it smells pretty good. It smells like vanilla. And guys, I want to apologize if you hear my son screaming like in the background. He's playing video games and I'm trying to do this voiceover. <laughs> and I keep telling him to lower his voice. But I can still hear him. So once again, I'm sorry if you hear him in the background. So for this corner, um, this is my entryway. I just kept it simple. Added the doormat. Um, the little boo, just little touches, that's it. So for over here, um, I kept it like last year. I just put my ghost blankets and my bat blanket and that little, um, uh, and the ghost. And that's it. That's all I did for this little corner right here. And 
and this wreath i decided to add the little goals i made last year with um fabric from my wedding dress and i just kept it as is and right here um i added this um pumpkin from michael's i have for a long time as well and this is the little i want to say accent table that i diy that i made a reel as well and decided to um add it right here with the little jack-o-lantern that i got that i had showed in my um haul video And now I am fighting with my pillows because Casper, which is my two-year-old Maltese, loves just laying on them. And as you can see, <laughs> the cushion by the window, it's flat. That's where he lays all the time. And I have to have the window open for him, for him to look. Um, and then this blanket, I'm not sure if I showed it in my haul, but it's a reversal one. And I loved it. So I really can't add throw pillow as much anymore. As you can see, these two throw pillows, he has them so flat. <laughs> so I just keep them on top of each other. So I give him like a little step to get onto the pillow. So um, this pillow is new as well. The ghost pillow, it matches the blanket. But yeah, here I am still fighting the pillows. <laughs> skull candle holder i posted it on my instagram a long time ago and i was like oh it's pretty but i'm not getting it and guess what guys that next day i went and i got it <laughs> i need to stop lying to myself but anyway um i decided to add this three big book which um i have pre-order and i don't know i think i made a reel as well and posted it here <laughs> of it when i received it i also got the well i pre-ordered the new um liz marie i can't wait to receive it it should be i should be getting it by november 7th i think that's what it says um so i can't wait to get it because i just love decorating with their books and it's so inspirational to me also guys this rug it's actually new a company on instagram sent it to me what well, they gifted to me i don't think i ever oh did i post the reel here i go i sound like a broken record <laughs> but yeah it's very pretty um they didn't when companies reach out sometimes they give you a couple of options to pick from and there wasn't much to pick from but anyway this is how it turned out i decided to add a candle because i need a candle to give it that vibe especially when i'm watching scary movies or any type of movie i need to light up a candle but i really love how it turned out and um yeah let me know down below guys how if you love it or not <laughs> 
so this is another day <laughs> as you could tell from my clothes um yeah i needed a little break but the, now we are doing my other side of my living room by my fireplace and decided to do this side with a whole bunch of my terracotta jack-o-lanterns that little one i showed you came in the decor steel box the full box which i freaking obsessed with that box i should have done an unboxing because everything in the box was so beautiful so these goals um i have had from last year and i added three more i got it in a little shop well actually it's one lady who does them handmade and she sells them every year so i decided to add three and i really love them and this is how this side turns out sure if i have shown this mirror it's like a dupe for the anthropology one that sam's club was selling i want to say about a year ago Oof, i can't even remember i'm not too sure if i have showed it before but if not here it is i have added it to this corner i took out that decor steel accent table added it to the other side to put this mirror and i can't wait to put my christmas tree right next to it it's gonna look so beautiful So I decided to add some lights to this um, garland that I got from Michaels. And also, guys, sorry, <laughs> I forgot to close my curtain. And you can see they're doing construction out there. So I hope that doesn't distract you from what I'm doing. those two um ghost pictures i freaking love it that frame is actually from walmart it had like a skull and i had broke the skull to use it as a frame from last year and i just kept it pretty simple on this side <laughs> don't mind the mess in the background <laughs> as you could tell it was pretty messy just because i was trying to decorate um this side so for right here i just decided to add this trick or tree um that i got from antique farmhouse i want to say two years ago and i really love this sign <music> You could see I DIY this jack-o-lantern to do I was trying to do a dupe for this other one that I have seen that it was like $50 and I was like I could make my own for way cheaper well very cheap because I have had this jack-o-lantern for um I want to say since last year two years ago I can't even remember for a while I never used it so I decided to spray paint it to um go with the one I seen and for my right here I just kept it simple as well just added a couple of halloween touches
these pumpkins are new. I think I, I, yeah, I didn't show it in my haul. They from Target from the thrift haul collection. So this jack-o'-lantern um, basket I had from last year, I decided to add that face with the stems that came in the decor steel box and this little um, headless horse frame from Michael. Also, this uh, table is from, I want to say the Studio Mickey collection from Target or the Thrift Hole collection. And I bought it on when they went on sale or clearance and... Um, I never used it and i was like you know what let me just add it to this corner added this headless horseman on the other side and this is how i left this side So now onto my mantle. I always have a hard time decorating my mantle just because I want it to be an aesthetically pleasing to my eye. And um, I don't know. I get a lot of questions on Instagram that why don't I put my TV up there and use my fireplace? I would love to do that, but there would we would have to do a lot of wiring just to get it through the TV up here and stuff like that. So for now, I'll just decorate it and look at it how it looks and those wooden um oh my god i don't know what they call them but they actually from the course there as well i bought them psh, a couple of years ago guys and i never decorate with them and also that picture i printed it out as well and put it in this frame that i use and what is it rough and buff on it and I don't know, I kind of not looking at it, don't like it. But anyway, it is what it is. And the little um, skeleton is from last year from Target. So for this jack-o'-lantern, I was going to DIY it and do the terracotta look on it. But I decided to leave it white. I might do it for next year. Um, I don't know, I just decided to leave it as is. And this, guys, is actually new. It's from um, the Heart and Hand. It's actually from the Christmas collection. I think I wanna say it's the Christmas collection. And I decided to add it on this side because on the other side, I have the other one that came out, I wanna say last year, I'm not too sure. This is how it turned out. I kept it just simple. Um, also, I have a question. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, when I post my videos, should I wait like two weeks to um, the holidays to add my Christmas or Halloween or whatever videos? Let me know. Or should I do them sooner? I feel like I always wait to the week of or a couple of days to like halloween or christmas to add my um videos um let me know so down here i'm just adding my pumpkins from decor steel and the other one is from um home goods and then the other pumpkin that's on the chair 
I DIY'd it and added that little, um, what is it, witch hat from last year. It's It was the same. I did it last year and I decided to keep it up here as well. And just decided to keep this simple and just add all my little terracotta um, jack-o'-lanterns. Let me know what you think so far. And if you have made it this far to my video, as always, a thank you. Also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That will really help me. I decided to add a riser to make it look taller so it won't be hiding behind the other one because i was trying to figure out how to add all these jack-o-lanterns here without it looking like overcrowded or too much going on and but yeah i was like it is what it is <laughs> um i feel like it looks nicer at night when i i did decided to add um a whole bunch of tea lights underneath to light them up As you can see i lit the candlesticks and added the little like tea lights to the ones that i could put them in to try to give it like a spooky vibe and once again if you made it this far thank you so much for watching my videos till next time